good morning my dear students in this class we are going to discuss about the fourier transform actually we are going to write the basic equation of the fourier transform uh, but uh, i request all the students who are attending this class kindly watch the previous videos related to the fourier transform because we are discussed about some basic uh, ideas and fundamental key points about the fourier transform if you want to get clear idea about fourier transform you should watch the series of videos then only you get clear idea okay if f of x so i want to show this is f of x axis let me consider your wave draw like this now we give the limit minus infinity to plus infinity this point is 0 now we take the limit here 0 to plus infinity or we take the full uh, waveform we put the limit minus infinity to plus infinity now we can write the equation if f of x is periodic periodic means a wave is traveling in regular time interval it is called periodic function of x then the fourier integral of f of x may be expressed as may be expressed as f of x equal to 1 by pi this is a time interval and we can give the limit 0 to infinity and then minus infinity to plus infinity and f of t cos omega of x minus t dt and d omega then this wave is completed a periodic we can take the limit minus infinity to plus infinity and then minus infinity to plus infinity f of t e power i omega sorry e power i omega x minus t dt d omega so this is called the exponential form of f of x and then we can write or separate the integral as 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power i omega x we can separate this e power i omega x and d omega and then integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of t this is f of t and e power i omega t e power i omega t dt this is equation 1 and we can distribute the period here this may be expressed as this may be expressed as f of x equal to 1 by root 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity to e power i omega x d omega and 1 by root 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity f of t e power i omega t dt this is equation 2 here note this key for your understanding 1 by 2 pi separated as 1 by root 2 pi 1 by root 2 pi now we can solve this 1 by root 4 pi square and we can get 1 by 2 pi no need to write this point in the examination just to keep it in your mind okay and then we can write this equation by putting the g of omega 1 by root 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity e power i omega x d omega and g of omega this is equation 3 here g of omega is equal to 1 by root 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity f of t e power i omega t dt so g of omega is represents as this equation we should learn two key points from this equation first one is g of omega is the Fourier transform of f of t and then second point is f of t is the inverse underline this word inverse Fourier transform of the of g of omega here you should remember the uh, relation between time and frequency okay so f of t represents 
the time domain sorry g of omega represents frequency domain my confident is you may get some clear idea about how to write a fourier transform uh, equation basically i think in the next class we will discuss about the f of t and the g of omega what are the physical meaning of f of t and the g of omega okay thank you